Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Chris Bong Chris Bongat looks like he tries on the butt plugs at Spencer's Gifts. Uh, Jack Baker looks like the reason we have active shooter drills. You know? Hey, well, hey, uh. But one of the smart ones, he looks like a school shooter that's trying to escape by blending in with the teachers. Hey Chris, cool shirt. I didn't know Hot Topic made size 38 year old lady boy. Uh, Jack has an allergy to milk, so he can't have milk. I guess he also has allergies to charisma and upper body strength. Chris looks like a cartoon villain if they were forced to make diversity hires. That was a good one, I can't have Dairy Potter. Uh, Jack recently released his comedy special on that super exclusive website, YouTube. It looks like the only way he's gonna get a special on Netflix is when they find those missing children. The only way that Chris can get hard is by rubbing his dick on a Funko Pop. Uh, Jack's wife used to be a cheerleader in high school, which he brings up all the time and is not creepy at all. You know? But Jack's no slouch. When Jack was in high school, he was voted most likely to correct women on the internet. You know, in high school, Chris was cut from his AV club for being too sad. Or is your short, chubby, he looks like emo Mario. <laughs> Instead of eating mushrooms and powering up, he reads poems and then cuts himself. Jack's wife is only four foot 11, which is shorter than a lot of eighth graders. Not only does he look like Woody Allen, he shares his taste in women. You know, it's tough going up against someone as respected as Chris Bongett. He's so respected in the comedy scene that they spelt his name wrong on the flyer for this show <laughs> and never bothered to fix it. Jack has a medical condition called uh, ulcerative colitis. He also has headache disorders and uh, severe allergies. I think the only thing higher than his medical bills is the times that he couldn't make his wife come. It's a roast. Chris Bongat looks like he knows where to find child porn. I'm not saying he has it, but I am saying that if any one of us needed it, he would be our first call. Jack Baker looks like a scarecrow that's trying to scare moisture away from pussy. <laughs> that's the roast, everybody. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my God. Holy oh, shit. man, I don't want either of you near a school. Holy shit. <laughs> Fucking creeps. Chris, you look like what my parents was worried I would turn into if I kept listening to Green Day. That's... <laughs> All a right. real Filipino-American well... idiot over here. <laughs> <laughs> great job. One more time for them starting off the show strong. Yeah. Great fucking... Great battle. <laughs> I want to start off with the Queen of Meat here. How are you doing, Chris? And what did you think here? Um... Wow, uh, yeah, it was very uncomfortable for as, as a parent to watch these two with any sense of power. But um, <laughs> is my mic on? Yeah. Um, yeah, I thought they were both very funny, obviously. I thought um, that line about you would know where the porn is, I wanted you to say, yeah, in your basement, you know, or something <laughs> like that. So that really, I think, but then I loved the Can't Eat Dairy Potter 
It's really close for me. Um, I think because you missed that exit, I'm going to go with Jack. Jack gets a vote. Give it up for him. Come on. Eric. I hope this settled the dispute for who's going to be regional manager of your Best Buy. (laughs) If I call Geek Squad and you guys get out of the van, the problem is getting solved. I like that about you guys. Uh, my favorite joke was 38-year-old lady boy, but I think Chris uh, ended stronger like the last three, so I'm going to give it to Chris. Okay, Chris gets a vote. Hell yeah. A fan favorite, apparently. Kevin Kellum. Wow, these are two people that are told to leave a library often. Um, uh, this is really good. Weren't they fantastic, guys? Make some noise for them. That was really, really close. Right down to the wire, but I thought Chris got him in the last joke, so I'm going to go I'm gonna go with Chris. Gonna okay, Chris. two for Chris, one for Jack. Comes down to you, Brandon. I, I like how you both look like your mom dropped you off tonight. <laughs> Jack, I love that you're married and still haven't lost your virginity. That's cool, too. <laughs> Are you still married, Brandon? <laughs> no. All right, Jack, you know, some things aren't funny, okay? (laughs) I'm just kidding, fuck that whore. Um, uh, (laughs) No, hey, whatever, I'm divorcing her. All right, enough about me. What about my ex-wife, this bitch? No, uh, no, no. All right, I'm gonna bet, I I, I like Jack. Uh, Chris, you did it in strong as fuck, but I did like Jack's jokes. All right, we're at a tie. Two for Chris, two for Jack. It comes down to you fucking animals. Woo-hoo! You're voting for a winner here, so we're going based on noise. Who thought that Jack won the battle? Woo-hoo! Now, who thought that Chris won the battle? Woo-hoo! You're a winner. Chris Von God, everybody, give it up for him. Great job, guys. Hey, thanks for watching Roast Battle Chicago. If you guys want to subscribe to our channel, you get even more content, a bunch of it, hours of it for free. And you can hit that little like button down there, hit the subscribe right over here, and check out these videos right over here.